Okay, I'm not gonna lie, fellas. I'm a little bit pissed right now. And I'll explain why. So, as you might notice, my audio sounds a bit better today. And that is for a very specific reason. Well, so I have this cool thing I'm wearing on my head right now, known as a headset. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But, <laughs> I've got a, a, a nice handy dandy microphone on this dang thing. And, ooh, a tree. Ah, it's gonna be one of these again. Let's, let's get ourselves a new ability, fellas. But anyways, Apparently, I just wasn't configuring the microphone properly, and that's why we had terrible background noise for <laughs> every single video I've made up until this point. Because I've had a headset, if not this headset, since I started. It's an old headset, but it's just not even worried about that. Ooh, an ancient light of awakened. I see. Oh? Sought the ah, they're looking for us. Like, where the heck are you at, fellas? Sheesh. Hmm. I'm sure they'll figure out where we are. Across the pond. Oh god, we're in England! No! Uh, has that always been visible? The, the, the first time in our lives that we've even seen this other place. The big dead tree in the middle. Definitely nothing of interest to specifically me as a, as a tree spirit. But okay. At least I can only assume. Skull, what the heck are you, huh? How you doing? Yeah, you are not like the other, the shrieker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shines an ancient light. Yeah, you know it. I've uh, played an entire game about it. Yeah. How about that? It has shared its memory with you. What does that mean, huh? Ooh! Very nice. Now I can. Now I can. Now I can fight. Very cool. Now use the light we want to see. Sure, here. I'll, I'll kill you with it. I have a freaking sword now. How rad is that? Bet you didn't expect I would get a sword in episode two. Bet you bet you thought I wouldn't be able to attack this entire game. How about that? Wow. I also keep forgetting that those things can shoot pretty far. Die. I know you can break. Maybe not right now, but ow. Oh god. Another interesting thing is the fact that there are, like, damage values which I wasn't quite expecting out of this game's character. There are a lot of, there are a lot of, um, UI differences between, Will, um, Blind Forest and Will of the Wisps, and I actually appreciate that a lot. Ow. Oh, god, that, um killed me instantly. <laughs> but I'd say the chief among them is the fact, um, for one, auto-saving. That's always nice. And for two, just, uh, really damage values. The fact that it's not quantified. Well, it's quantified, but it's quantified as less than the um, apparent value of a single life orb, you know. And that's that's interesting, you know. Ah, sucker! I refuse to get it. Ah, stupid idiot! You get an achievement if you do that enough times. <laughs> I got the achievement. <laughs> It's pretty dang easy to kill things when they're willing to, kind of, like, kill themselves. Ooh, that is nice. I'm gonna be equipping that. That's another difference now. We have, like, uh, Hollow Knight-esque badges. 
I say Hollow Knight S, but I guess Hollow Knight was the first one to do that. Hey, another game that I'm putting off playing because of, you know, difficulty, but whatever. Uh, not, well, it, I, I just haven't finished Hollow Knight, actually. But, I don't know. That's one of the kinds of things that I could do on the channel. I think I did the same with, um, Blasphemous, basically. Uh, no, I beat Blasphemous before I beat it on the channel, so... Hmm. Go to the Guardian of the Marsh. Wallock will help you find your way. Okay. Sure. Oh! Nice! A new quest! This is very convenient. Alright. But before that, of course... Actually, I wanted to do the, um... Horia's, like, significantly non-linear. But I did want to actually follow... Proper paths this time. I know, completely unlike any playthrough before. I'm gonna 100. I'm gonna actually do what the game tells me. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be fun and fun and fun. I'm gonna have to get out of this dang place first. Let's get on towards doing that. You get the feeling, okay, well, maybe I did have to go down. All right. Makes sense, let's go find ourselves a keystone then. Shouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Shouldn't be the hardest thing in the world. Yep. If I can beat the heck out of those, nothing hard. Spirit Light Container, very nice. But yeah, I keep, I need to remember that I'm gonna have to come back through these areas anyways and I get more abilities. So it's not exactly the worst thing in the world to like, um, to like get things later, you know, save some stuff for me. So that's what I'm gonna be doing this time around. Again, ain't the worst thing in the world. Oh, I knew it. Oh, what did I know? There we go. God, I think I think they stopped dashing if I hit them. You know. Hey, we did it, guys. I knew there was going to be something going on. Those freaking red glowing mushrooms, they just speak of death. But anyways, hey, it's not none of my problems anymore. I'm too good at the game for that. Hey, am I right, fellas? I am right, by the way. Woo! Another ability already. God, I love Ori. They just shower me with the ability to do things. What's next, huh? Double jump. That was quick. Very cool. Kind of imperative to the game. Alright. The heck is that up there? No, I guess we did already get one of these. Huh? Isn't this the, the soul shard or whatever? Sticky. Oh, yeah! Spirit shards. Okay, cool. Now I can climb walls without having to jump up them like Celeste. Very, very convenient. Trust me. Ah, uh, sucker. Ow. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of glad that the, the frequency at which things drop light. Is there anything up here? Every time I say that, every time I think and say that, specifically a game like this, that involves moving around. I am wrong. Without fail, I am wrong. But you know what? Whatever. We'll 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 hash that out at at a later date. I will eventually stop trying to do that. Hey, a save point. How nice. Cool. The light of the wells runs all through when it went. Cool. Very nice. 
it's good to know that the spirit uh, tree stuff is active in other places because otherwise I'd be kind of dead in the water, I'd imagine. <laughs> Not that I have any problems with being dead. You know, no offense to my dead viewers. Oh, jeez. Here I thought that I would, like, stop it in its tracks. Guess you really just have to jump over. It ain't that hard. Alright. Nice. Another interesting thing about this game is that I feel like they... handle a bit better some of the, some of the wackier things you could do in the first one. Um, I don't know why I was even trouble climbing on there. Regarding, um, clipping corners and things like that. Um, now I'm, I don't know if I really have any specific examples, it's been a while. <laughs> and I don't know if I really did stuff like that all too much. I'm sure if I had a, a sick speedrun save I would remember it, so... <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm wrong. But, yeah, I feel like... It... Some things are handled a bit better regarding the way the story is going. So hey, a keystone. Nice, nice, very nice. Chat. Very important that I said that. And what do you think? Should I leave next keystone for next episode? I don't think I need to. So let's just get on with it then. I have a very just tank hits playstyle. <laughs> Thank you, Ganondorf. Ow. God. It would have been cool if I hadn't died. Because then I would be able to get the uh, never died achievement. And I didn't get that. Surprisingly enough, I never actually did die. Not that I died too terribly much. I want to say it was 40, around 40 times, and I literally just checked, so yeah, should be nice, yes, we opened the door, fellas, another achievement for never touching this water stuff, while it's still wacky and bad, so that's what I'm going to do, I'm never going to touch it, we're not touching the water, I'm also going to try going up a little bit, that's my whole deal. I really need to stop walking into areas that I have to actually break something to access before going into the areas that I don't have to break things to access. I feel like there may even be a benefit to doing this. Maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, like I might get out of this hole. I don't know if there's too much benefit to getting out of this hole right just yet before I go into that area on the side. But again, it's a little bit of hey, hey, hey. See? Nice. I got a life cell fragment. I didn't get a full life cell. But hey, that's alright. I got half of one. That's right, fellas. The pickups have doubled in this game. I get to play it for that much longer. <laughs> Nine entire hours, fellas. Who's ready for it? Who's ready for the nine-hour nine hour gameplay stream? Anyways. Ah, you stand before Muck the Brave. It's not very convincing, I know, but I am brave. Or I would be with a trophy. A trophy like, uh, Howl Scout or Fang, if that's too early. Or the Howl fighting to the east. Maybe a drop one. Ah. Find the Howl Fang. Well, I suppose I could do that on the next episode of Ori and the Will and the Wisps, the Will of the Wisps, because why wouldn't I? <laughs> I'm honestly, I don't know why I'm so happy that I just got the microphone working. Because it, it, it is honestly something that for whatever reason, the, um, my older laptop, the microphone, it, it picks up the fans on the computer too often. But it does pick up my voice pretty well. Whereas with the, um, the newer computer, it uh, God, it picks up my voice pretty well. But it picks up like the air moving around me really well too. 
So yeah, I'm just glad in the increase in quality, and I'm wondering if I can do that with the older computer too. I just actually don't know. But hey, we'll find out, right? For now, like, comment, and subscribe. You'll find out tomorrow, actually, because I still, um, I still record like Deponia, Yoku, and Celeste on the older laptop. So yeah, you'll find out. We'll all find out. I'm gonna find out sooner than you do, though. So. For now, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will cast you into the depths of the Howl Den and, and leave you to fend for yourself, which may or may not work very well. I'm not actually sure how large these creatures are in terms of human, but, you know, it just be like that sometimes. I'd imagine that um, the size of Gumo's body is about maybe the size of a human head, perhaps. Because, I mean, look at these blades of grass, but at the same time... Maybe the uh, air is dense with water. Who knows? Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.